Give you a tip, always put a belt on. If you fall in, it traps the air in the waders and acts like a little uh, buoyancy aid. Right, I'm going to put up my tripod um, now. To full height, and I'll use that as a, a wading staff. I'll also put my camera on it as well. I mean today I'm use I'm today I'm using this uh, man bag. <laughs> it is a cannon one though. <laughs> and I've uh, double wrapped my wide angle lens in case I need it. Because uh using food bags because they're nice and soft and they just uh like anything electronic or anything that be would be harmed by immersion in water just wrap it in plastic bags or cling film and that's about it really make sure it's all locked off that's it that's my wading staff that's and also a reason why I got the bag is it's got a small enough footprint I can actually put it on the um, on the side of the shoreline, not having to find a big area for my normal rucksack I normally like to carry. And also, it's easy access if you're actually standing in the water itself. So, that's the rationale behind uh, my man bag. And, well, let's go.
Well, I don't know if you can hear me over this uh, torrential torrent. So, what I'm doing is I'm taking a picture of that main rock with the two cascades coming either side and just trying to balance the, um, the composition up so you get a sort of one waterfall on the left and a bit of the waterfall on the right and um, just play around with it until it looks sort of like quite balanced and just take a picture of about it really um, I've kept the sky out of the picture you see just because concentrate the view on actually just the actual the brightness of the waterfall, the white and the contrast of the dark rocks around. On the left here you'll see this uh, bit of gorse bush. I'll have to sort of like make sure that's not in the shot when I take the picture. And you can see it's like two waterfalls sort of coming down and just like a, a Y-shaped sort of composition. Well, which do you prefer? The shorter exposure one or the longer exposure one? I've just taken a, um, a portrait version of it. I was going to try and uh, walk into the pool and then climb up the waterfall to the next composition. But I think it's a bit too sketchy and a bit even deep for these things. There's quite a deep pool in front of the uh, little waterfall, so I head back onto the bank there and uh, go around it. See, these are what uh, are hiding around <laughs> in between every bush, every gap. <laughs> Ow. Right, get the head under that. <laughs> I'm goosed. 
Whew. It's too difficult filming. I'm stopping. Ah. be able to see it but there's a stick up there I've got to go and retrieve it's uh, spoiling my composition so I'm gonna wander up and take that out before I take any more any photographs <laughs> this is so sketchy Uh, focused on that rock there and um, just doing the same as before I can't hear myself think so I'm just um, start out of a hundred ISO three stop bracket where the meter says and so what the meter says and then one up and one down I may tweak it later I don't know obviously but uh, to, alter the uh, how steamy the uh, stream looks uh, I'm going to start off at uh, 100 ISO then 160 and then 320 and then 640 and then maybe uh, a thousand something like that so that's the plan here we go That's about that really. Now I've got a battle up there to uh, to get out of the stream and look for my next composition. I've just taken this picture, this rock. That was the one on the uh, right hand side of the, the previous composition and I've just done a, uh, a portrait version and a, a landscape version. Uh, just repeating the same old thing what I've done before. Bracket it once up either side to give me a bit of leeway for the shadows and the highlights. And then what I call it, and then shooting at 100 and then 160 and then uh, 320 and then 640 and then 1250th I don't know why I've done that but I thought what the hell just go for it <laughs>
so I've completed this um, uh, this composition so now I'm gonna head up uh, a bit further and see what else I can find and run the gauntlet gauntlet of the spiders the ticks in the bracken and many other little myriad of beasts beasties and also this Out, yep, second. That spiky stuff. Don't know why I did that. Right. So there we have it. Please like and subscribe. <laughs> and see me torture myself another time.